From the sky, it could be any construction site. A massive one, to be sure, covering some 16 acres. Two years after the tragedy of September 11th, it's hard to believe that this crater once looked like this. Testament to an unspeakable act of terrorism. Remembering the good times and learning that it's okay to have good times again is the difficult task that many families face on this second anniversary. <laughs> Last weekend, 17 families whose lives were changed forever on that awful day came to a quiet spot in upstate New York to find a bit of peace. They came courtesy of the Lions Club International to walk on stilts, to paint their faces, to make masks, and to learn to laugh again. We have to show them that we could still have fun and make it have fun for them, right? Look, he's ready to hop out. For Gail Silk, whose brother Stephen Driscoll was killed that day, teaching her children that life is good is this year's challenge. I've learned to um, go with the new life that we all have now. We can't change anything to uh, just make the best of it and uh, always have his memories. Even an experience like here, with the beauty and the nature and the serenity, you want to have that to share with someone. For Sonia Houston, who lost her husband, Uruhu, September 11th, it is the very normalcy of everyday life that is difficult to bear. I want to look over and say, hey, look at that little toad in the water. You know, look at Hannah playing over there in the dirt. You know, it's, not, it's nobody here to share with. In his absence, we all feel it. Me and Daddy liked superheroes. Sonia's son, Hassani, is seven. Where's Daddy? I have it. Hannah is almost three. Feels for good boy. boy. Mommy. Huh? I thank God for the children every day because they keep me going constantly. So, you know, he lives through them. Someday soon, something will be here in this city famous for rebuilding and remaking itself, for pushing ever upwards against adversity, and for barely pausing to take a breath. To rebuild it without forgetting what happened here, to move on and yet not to forget, that is the challenge for everyone who lived through that terrible day.